first thing you have to do is download and install Razer Game Booster, okay? Just choose here your operating system and download it and install it. Uh, after you, you installed it, um, you, c you open the application and this is going to happen. It's going to you go to utilities and there is a bunch of processes running already but uh, most of this I'm, I'm dis I disabled it when I before I start the game uh, manually disabled it so but if you have some of these you want to to stop disable the application you just go here and click it and when the game starts it disables this main controller uh, is ex executable so um, now we're going to services. Uh, this is Windows services. You, you already s already select some services, but if you see another one you don't need, just go there and check uh, the box. Same thing for non-Windows app devices, and same to others. Um, but here, others, uh, it's it's different. You have here um, some optimizations that it's clean RAM. This is important for one thing we are going to do. More uh, in front, um, it's going to help a uh, memory allocator uh, to run better uh, and enable game power solutions. This changes your power settings to high performance, it's uh, very important. Uh, and this is uh, one I, I disabled also because it prevents automatic update and interrupting your games. Okay, and uh, then there are other things that are important. This diagnosis it just, just analyze your your uh, your computer and says what you have installed, what hardware do you have, everything. Uh, then you have a very important that it's defrag. Defrag you choose or you add a game and then you choose defrag and it defragments the game so it runs faster. Okay. Then you have here the drivers. Uh, as you see, is no drivers available is because it scans your computer for the, the need of a new driver uh, for, for GPU, for your motherboard, uh, everything. Uh, just if it needs, uh, there is another a newer driver, uh, it will appear here. Um, and I think uh, for Game Booster, it's everything. Yeah, it's everything. So um, now you are going to optimize uh, NVIDIA control panel. Okay, uh, if you have you have an ATI, just an ATI, just try to find any option that it's similar to these ones I'm going to to show you. So we're going to open con NVIDIA control panel. Then you are going to. Uh, go to our uh, 3D definitions. It's in Portuguese, but I'm going to translate it as best as I can to English. So, uh, the acceleration for uh, multiple monitors, you just choose uh, one monitor. Anti-aliasing gamma corrections, you choose to activate. Uh, the anti-aliasing mode, you choose uh, control by application. Uh, anisotropic filtering, you choose control by application. By application, uh, texture filtering, um, you choose by opti uh, optimization. Uh, you choose activate. Texture filtering, three linear optimization, you choose activate. Uh, the the quality parameter you put um, high performance. Um, the negative level uh, of detail you choose allow. Then the energy g um, monitor uh, you choose uh, high performance. Then you have uh, uh, pre presented videograms. This one uh, it belongs, to, uh, it's, it's um, that tweak uh, you. You may be already seen in YouTube about you going to your armor config and chase and change the GPU detect frames ahead. Um, 
this is what this this changes that that parameter. Okay, you don't need to go uh, to that uh, file uh, in your ARMA. You just come here and you change it. Okay, I have it in two. I think it's for me it works best. Okay, but you can change between one and four. Okay, and choose two. Uh, uh, ambiental occlusion, you choose to deactivate. Optimization by execution lines, you choose activate. And the last two, that's vertical sync, you deactivate. And uh, triple buffering memory, you choose deactivate. Unless you have a very good computer and you use vertical sync, uh, you activate also this one because it helps improve. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to start to optimize uh, ARMA, uh, the way the ARMA starts. Um, you have already seen uh, in YouTube uh, that you there are a set of parameters you put when you start your, your ARMA so it runs better and faster. Uh, they usually go to Steam, uh, you open Steam, then you go to properties and you come to uh, start definitions and then you put here the code parameters. But this has uh, one big disadvantage, disadvantage in my, my opinion. It's because if you want to start everything without it, because you are testing something, um, you have to come here and delete everything and start armor. And if you want to put all the parameters again, you have to come here and put it all again. So I I do uh, a, th uh, a shortcut. I go to the ARMA directory. Let's come here. Programs. No, this is programs. Uh, Steam. Steam apps. Common ARMA. And you come here and you choose send to uh, desktop uh, create a shortcut right? and you come here and I already have one and you go to properties then in the shortcut you have um, these are the things you are going to add it's in this line so I'm going to tell you how uh, each one of them, what does it do? Then you have. I'm going to put this in in the description, so don't don't uh, don't worry if you don't catch this on the video. First, you have no splash. No, no, no splash removes that intro screen that appears in in Arma. So it makes this is isn't going to accelerate Arma, but it's going to accelerate uh, the start of Arma, the startup. No pause. No pause. It it has a, a, a very peculiar thing. Sometimes you have to go to the desktop and you do Alt Tab, then you click on something, and when you come back to Arma, you shoot. <laughs> so, <coughs> and this prevents you from shooting. Okay? It's a very good, very good trick. Skip intro. It skips Arma intro. Okay? Then this is no logs. No logs, it's, uh, it has a very little impact on. Uh, ARMA performance, but when you want just one more frame, uh, this is probably is going to help, uh, especially when your uh, when your hard drive is going to start rendering the the new places you're you're walking on the map. This is going to help a little bit. Then you've got the world empty. Uh, this accelerates. Uh, the start of Pharma. It's not going to prove uh, the, the the performance of Pharma. It's not going to get you better uh, frames per second, but it's it's going to make your star Arma start way faster. Okay. Then this is an important one. This is the max memory. Um, this one is going to tell Arma your max the maximum memory it can use. Because if you don't tell Arma, it's going to assume you have between 512 megabytes to 1536 megabytes. <coughs> so 
you probably have more at least you have two two gigabytes so uh you put 2047 megabytes because it d doesn't matter if you, if you put more because it's hard coded arm is hard coded to this maximum of amount of memory even if you put 8000 it doesn't matter if you have 8 gigs of ram doesn't matter it's going to uh, fall back to 2047 okay now the next one it's it's important uh it's gives ARM uh, the possibility to, his to use more threads um, but this it's not as I've seen in the video that some guy, some guy came and said ah, you use hyper threading and you have 8 cores and you put 8 and people were complaining uh, that ARM was kept crashing because this is not, or this doesn't work like this uh, this has extra threads for <coughs> some uh some rendering uh of armor does i'm going to show you the, the page where you have all these parameters i'm going to put this link on the on the description so you can go there and see everything i'm saying <coughs> you can see yeah uh, it overrides auto detection so you use three for a dual core and seven for a quad core let's see the details extra threads mean the geometry loading texture loading and file operations if you put zero, nothing doesn't uses any extra thread. If you put one, it will use another extra thread for file operations. If you have put three, it's going to use for texture and uh, file operations. If you put five, again, geometry and file operations. If you put seven, it uses for all three. So <coughs> when you put another number that it isn't here, it's going to crash, okay? <laughs> or it's, it's, it's gonna not going to start armor. Um, and as you can see there are all the, the parameters I told you about max memory, max VRAM, <coughs> min XP there is another a lot of these uh, uh, parameters you can use others but these, are these I'm, I'm talking about are most important you can come here and try and see if you have any improvements but it's, it's diff these are I'm the ones I'm talking about are most important so continuing, uh, as I have a quad core IU7, then this is malloc. Malloc is a memory allocator. <coughs> remember, remember, I talked about that razor to uh, clean your RAM and fragment your RAM. Well, it's going to help this work better. What does this do? Um, this is in memory. Uh, this improves your memory. Um, the way your memory works, because ARM uh, it sends um, pages of <coughs> to the memory four kilobyte uh, uh, pages. Okay, so if you want to fill up two gigabytes of memory, four Ks, it's <laughs> it's going to send a lot of pages, and that is going to um, make the memory controller to be. Uh, it doesn't work as good because it's a, a lot of flow, a big flow of, of pages coming in. Um, so, if this memory allocator uh, makes ARMA to send <coughs> a 2048 kilobyte page, so it sends less pages but bigger pages. So the memory allocator just ha has to lead, uh, has to deal with less pages, bigger, but less pages and it's good for the for the memory and it makes your comp uh, the in this case armor run faster and you'll have an improvement of frames uh, in your frames per second um this he says and i i agree it gives you about between six and nine percent of incre the increase in your uh, frames per second so it's very good and uh, it's important for you to, to, to put this <coughs> but um, it has a little problem uh, some versions of Windows don't run this uh, because it needs uh, Windows to have uh, you to have a permission as a user to have a permission from Windows to lock pages in memory okay uh, and only the top versions of Windows 
top versions of Windows 7 and top versions of Windows 8 and 8.1 have this permission okay uh, and I'm going to show you how you how do you know you you have uh, that kind of permission so um, I'm just copying here <coughs> you come down here in your uh, start button when you search search of Windows and you write this I'm going to put this in uh, in the description so you can go there faster this is the, the security security policy for Windows okay <coughs> it takes a bit to start and if you don't have this if it doesn't start forget it do not uh, search for uh, to try to help other friends of mine that don't have uh, uh, this in Windows this security policy and it's, it's forget it you, you can't have it you just have to reinstall or have a Windows uh, that has this by default so you go to local it's in Portuguese I'm going to translate this is go to local policies then you go to user right assignment and this is, is this one in Portuguese <coughs> then you go to log pages in memory uh, in Portuguese it's block pages in memory okay uh, then you have uh, add the your uh, user or group go there type it it's going to check it doesn't mind it doesn't find uh, so take I'm going to take it out it's going then you add it, it's going to appear here your name and it's done 